Hi and welcome to another WordPress how-to video by Webtegrity. I wanted to show you today what happens whenever you have a website, something like this at Paintpalooza. Uh, they're struggling to have these kind of hidden areas where, see how the menu kind of lays behind this Facebook like box? That can also happen whenever you have like a slideshow sitting across here or possibly a, a, a old school flash movie sitting across here. Sometimes your drop down options can be hidden. And what manipulates that is something inside the style sheet called the Z index. And so I've got that little code sitting right here for you. And you can also check out all sorts of options over on w3schools.com and just search, do a search for Z index in here and it'll show you all the different options. But in, a, in essence, what it does is it allows you to layer things inside of your website. So the, um, the more negative a number, uh, the, the more negative it's going to be behind things. The, the higher the number, the more positive the number, the more it's going to be brought to the forefront, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is show you how to get in there and make this change, and maybe uh, this, will, this can help you. I browse with Firefox, as most of you know that have watched any of our tutorial videos, and I use Firebug. Okay, So I'm going to click on Firebug and engage this. Don't get overwhelmed yet. We're just going to look behind the scenes a little bit at some nerd code. We're going to come over here and click the select element. Okay, And I want to come through here and try to grab that drop down menu item. There we go. Grabbed it. And what I want to do then, I'm going to move myself over here. What I want to do is this is the area right here, this sub menu class that, that is affecting that space. So I want to drop in. Let's try to drop it in and see what it does. I'm going to drop in Z index. And I've already kind of played around with this, so I know it's a very high number. Apparently this author has a lot of things layered. So we're going to put in a considerably high number here. And I'm just going to press enter for now and come here and see if that did the trick. And it did. Check that out. Now that menu item is clearly visible and you shouldn't have any sort of issues no matter what browser you're in as long as you've assigned that sort of Z index to this particular element. In order to make that change go live, of course, you need to go over into your style sheet, whether it be your, your child theme or your custom CSS box, and apply that change uh, to the Z index area so that you can uh, have all of these things come to the forefront. Again, if you have any other questions, jump over to uh, w3schools.com or there's always uh, WordPress Wednesday, uh, wpwed.com or webtegrity.com. I just want to give a quick shout out to Shirley here at Paintpalooza for allowing us to use her website as an example and a tutorial for Z Index. If you guys are in the San Antonio area, be sure to head over there. It's really cool. You can go there individually and attend a class or you can book your own party there. Paintpalooza. Good times. All right, we'll catch you on the next WordPress video. Bye-bye.